Good morning, everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm here in San Diego, and uh, it is very uh, wet outside today, so it's a great day to craft. Um, I always feel a little bit guilty about crafting during the day uh, if it's a nice, nice weather. So we've got uh, page four up, and um, we're going to do a left and right flap. These flaps are four and a half by eight, four and a half by eight and they're going to be attached to the left and right hand side of this pocket page. Um, let me see, okay, good. So I will get started on that, and then we will, and that's all we're gonna do as far as interactive elements, and the rest of it'll be decorating. The good stuff, the fun stuff. Every time it rains, I uh, get a little bit of a congestion. I think it's because our heater's running, actually. Not less about the rain and more about having the heater on. Okay, here we go. Left and right. And I, I don't always mention this, but I like to put down one corner and kind of use it as my pivot point uh, to, to get... Um, get that put in straight. Okay, so um, we are gonna use a magnet to keep this closed and because there's not an overlap of these two flaps, we'll need to extend one of the flaps in one way or another and the way I'm gonna do it is um, with this cut apart. So it's going to be um, glued on one side, have a magnet underneath it and that is gonna have an opposing magnet on the other side. So let's go ahead and get started with the easiest part, which is this because we don't need to install any magnets or anything. It's just about centering this, this image. Mm, and I'm pretty sure, I'm terrible at this. Um, first, it's really hard to tell the difference between the backgrounds and the scrap pack of um, Stamperia. So I'm gonna see if I can't find, here it is, yeah. I always find myself going back to the cover page to see if I've got this image. It doesn't look like it is. So I think this is from the Patterns Pack. Um, I'm trying to find my, my cheat sheet for... Um, there's the Patterns Pack. So it is. It is part of the Patterns Pack. And I'm using the 12 by 12. I'm sorry. I said Patterns. Scrapbook Pack part of the scrapbook pack from the 12 by 12. Um, I try to set these things aside so that I can keep track of them. It's not always that easy. So, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Sometimes I accidentally cut through them and glue them down before I got most of it figured out. Figured out. Actually, let's go over real quick. So the inside, we're going to use it's the same pattern, but I'm going to use that the handwritten side, so it's all off the same sheet. And then I'm going to use these two, and I just think it looks really pretty because that's what's going to be on the cover. So because we're going to go green on the outside, maybe what do you guys think? Mm, I'm kind of going back and forth. I like both. Hmm. Well, I can't do that on this one, so these have to be green. And I think I'm gonna—I think I actually like the pink better. It's a little bit softer on the eyes. Uh, both of them would look beautiful. I had originally planned this, and that was like ten minutes ago. <laughs> so I change my mind all the time. Be dry so quick when the when the heater's on. I gotta gotta move fast. Okay, so now we are going to have to make a decision of how I want these. If I want them um, opposite to each other. One side, 
is a little bit crisper and this is a little bit softer. I think I'm gonna go with the softer side and do it this way. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting the, um, the floral pieces in, then I'm gonna trim this to height. And um, it is gonna be color blocked, so there'll be a, a nice cream seam between the two. <clears throat> Don't need to take off much, but a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Is that going to be good? Yep, looks good. Going to ink it. There we go. I like it. So now this is our option. I kind of like the the opposites. Um, I don't know what. Sorry. I think somebody's trying to get a hold of me. My mom. My mom isn't doing very well right now, so I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled and make sure um, I don't miss any of her calls. Okay, so I think I can't pick that up. So this one's a little bit smaller. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> My hands don't seem to want to work this morning. So this is the right size. Same as this, but this one's going to be a little bit shorter. So we'll um, employ that same practice on this side, reversed. Oh, I'm using the softer side. Well, they both look pretty soft. I think I'll use the more simple side. Just um, in my mind, it always makes it a little bit easier to put a photo on. It's very beautiful paper. It's probably my favorite print in the whole collection. Okay, now we'll trim this one to fit. down we'll get started in the cover so essentially this main body and these two pieces came from the same 12 by 12 and then this came this was the four inch panel that was left after I cut those two pieces out. So we're using a total of two 12 by 12s between the two pages, or for this page and um, the flaps. Okay. That's the right side up, believe it or not. Doesn't feel like it to me either. Okay, trying to decide. So page 
two, three, okay, four, and then five is over here. So I think I want the magnet on this side, which means I can go ahead and glue this down. This is the other option, which is kind of fun too. What do you guys think? That or this? I'm going with this, I think it's prettier. This could have been a pocket. Um, I chose not to make it a pocket. I don't really know how much, we're only on page four, how much paper I'm gonna have left in terms of making you know, inserts. So I'm trying to be practical. Um, but I also think this makes four, let's see. This is three. Three by five makes for a, an interesting spot to put like a three by five that sort of passes over both. Both sides, or of course you can do two three by threes and it would be perfectly framed out. So there is a couple of ideas in terms of matting photos. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to I'm gonna find my midpoint. It's two and a half. One and a quarter. So that's roughly the, the midpoint. So we're going to adhere glue to this side, and then I'm going to put a decorative piece of paper on this side, but underneath the decorative piece of paper will be a magnet. And then the important thing is, so it's going to go install just like that, right? So if you're planning it, don't flip it left to right. Flip it over, end over end. You want to make sure this magnet is inset enough on the secondary flap that we don't have any issues with um, the opposing side magnet being exposed or having any issues with getting the paper all the way over it. And I think we should be fine here. Okay, now I'm gonna find a decorative piece of paper to put on it. And it only needs to be one and a quarter, and I've got this left over. So this is what I'll use. It needs to be about that wide. Okay, now let's get the height right. There we go. It's going to be nice getting together with everybody over the holidays. It, it, it actually feels like life is getting back to some level of normal after those couple years of COVID. Although having said all that, my husband's still working from home, which is driving me crazy. <laughs> um, not that he works, but that I have to be quiet. Um, everything has to wait till after 5 p.m. and I don't like that. It's like I can't get any housework done. Can't run the vacuum. So that's kind of, kind of a drag. Okay, I'm going to go back and forth. I'm going to use the pink side, change my mind. So it pulls the pink from the center back in. And again, I want to make sure I've got it right side up to match. Okay. 
Okay, and there's my little dots for the glue line. in my grid to see if I've got it straight. That's pretty close. There we go. Now we're ready to put the opposing magnet on. last piece. It's so close on, I just want to make sure I'm doing the right The right side. It's so soft, so feminine. I did the right side but it's okay I'm happy with it <laughs> and that's because I see this I think it was supposed to be flipped the other way but it was close enough it sure looks like it goes with that flower so I'm I'm going with it there's no way I could um, flip it over and preserve it because of the glue that's it for yay so that is page four the next time we get together we'll be working on page five I hope you guys enjoyed this I'll be back soon.